What's up guys? Click the subscribe button and press the bell icon to stay updated with our videos. Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. So today I'm going to discuss how to prepare for finance financial management section of Bank of India Credit Officer exam. So let's start. I have divided the whole syllabus into two parts. The first one is numerical and the second one is theoretical. So in the numericals, the most important portion, the most important paper is time value of money. I am aware about the fact that many of you are chartered accountants or company secretaries and uh, you have already already done these chapters, but students calculators are not allowed here. So th there is a problem for you. So let's start. Uh, with the time value of money chapter in the time value of money chapter uh, the most important there are four sub parts in this chapter actually the present value of money uh, the future value present value annuities emis right so let me give you an example at the beginning of every year i'm giving you 200 rupees right and the interest rate is 13 percent and after five years what is the value of all the money that I gave you in the beginning of every month? Or let's take, an, take it another way. Uh, what is the present value of all the money that I'm going to give you in the next five years? Without using the calculators. Very basic questions. Or suppose I took a loan of 30,000 rupees and interest rate is 13% and the loan is going to be for seven years. Uh, calculate the EMI, monthly installment. Easy. Let's go further. Annuities, present value, EMIs, very important topic for time value of money. Then there is bond valuations. I have done a proper in-depth lectures about these topics in my Bank of India Credit Officer course. You can check the, uh, the about the course in the description. Then there is ratio analysis, simple activity ratios, profitability ratio and the solvency ratios. Uh, the most important question here is the calculation of PE ratio and the EPS, you know, those uh, solvency ratios are actually very important here. You are going to find at least one question from the ratio analysis and at least one question from time value of money. I, I forgot about one important question from the time value of money that one question uh, from the time value of money that was actually asked in the previous year. Uh, that is from the rule of 72, 114 and 144. In most of the books, the rule of 72 is given. I mean, only the rule of 72 is available. In very few books, I mean, I have gone through many books. I, I have never seen the rule of 144 in any of the books. And last year, rule, a question was asked from rule of 144. I mean, in how many years the money is going to quadruple? I mean, the rule of 72 says in how many years or the, what is the interest rate uh, by which the money is going to be doubled one by using the rule of 114, the money is going to be tripled and rule of 144, the how, in how much time the money is going to be quadrupled. So very interesting lecture. I have already done this lecture and the link to this lecture is available in the cards. I think it's here or there. Please check the cards. The link is available. Please watch that video. That video is also available on the YouTube. So let's move forward. The important uh, chapter, chapter number three, the working capital management, very easy chapter. Uh, actually, the working capital management and the ratio analysis, they are little bit interrelated. Even the break even analysis, even that one is interrelated with the ratio analysis. You are going to find two or three questions from the, these chapters. Then the cost of capital, capital structure, very important. In the cost of capital, in almost every exam, let it be RBI grade B, let it be Bank of India. The most important question is the weighted average cost of capital, very important or find the rede uh, rede redeemable pre preference shares, the, the cost of redeemable preference shares, you know, uh, the cost of equity shares. So various sources of finance, you need to find the cost of that. So important question, cost of capital, then capital structure, weighted average cost of capital is a very important topic. You need to go through it. Uh, then the cash flow statement is very important. The fund flow statement is gone now. The cash flow statement as per the accounting standard three, a lot of you are chartered accountants and company secretaries. You are already aware about it. So that's what it is. I have done a proper lecture about it. Then capital budgeting, what is NPV and IRR? So I hope till now you are able to understand everything that is actually the syllabus for the numerical. That's all. I mean, you are not going to find the question beyond that, right? A little bit about financial statement analysis right 
so that's the numericals then a uh, little bit about uh, the financial terms i'm going to discuss about that later on so basically we have divided the whole syllabus into numerical theoretical and the financial terms so i forgot about that so in the theoretical so financial terms are actually part of the theory so in the theory there are derivatives so what are forward contract future contract option contract swaps interest rate swaps and how it works and all right so basic uh, basic terms and procedures like the debt securitization is an important process right so these are the some topics that you need to cover up the interest rate swap is actually very important right now very popular in the economy then the various regulatory organizations like rbi sebi nabard nhb so this one is actually in depth most important part of this whole you know uh, this whole paper actually even this part is actually important for the general awareness and this part is actually important for this you know uh, financial management chapter uh, paper also the rbi nabard seb and nhb the rbi is bi monthly policies and then schemes and notification are very important then npa is bank corruption act surface act very important so what is np np is right now very important topic uh what is bankruptcy the bankruptcy code you need to understand that very important then the mutual funds uh mutual fund structure the working of mutual fund the insurance the working of insurance uh you know regulatory organization the basel norms are very important for this topic right then the notification and updates and pib i know uh, many of you are actually confused Uh, are confusing the financial management with the general awareness because in general awareness of bank of india credit officer exam it, there is a emphasis on banking awareness while in financial management again there is an emphasis on the banking right banking awareness so the numerical portions i have explained you that that's what you need to do in the theoretical portion whatever the updates whatever whatever the notification and bulletins came from the rbi whatever the notification came from the sebi and any other pib that is coming from the government of india or any other taxation update that is coming coming from uh, government of india uh, you you need not to go in depth about uh, the taxation updates but uh, you can say the general awareness about that you need to understand that right I know that many of you are not going through the RBI's notifications. Even in my previous lecture, I repeated this point: the notifications by RBI, SEBI, and NHB. These are very important. You need to go through it. Even the monetary policy uh, reviews that are coming, the monetary policy reviews are coming. The very important, and the economic survey is very important. Economic survey is again from the general awareness section. Economic survey, and un uh, union budget, but. the syllabus of financial management and the general awareness in bank of india exam even in the previous papers uh, you know little bit they are matching they are conflicting so need to, you need to go through it uh, so i have already explained the topics from my end uh, time value of money ratio analysis working capital management cost of capital capital structure break even analysis cash flow statement and capital budget this is the you know rough idea about how it, it is going to uh, work then the next some other you know if you want to extend it there is forex transaction that is actually the part of derivatives actually so students that's uh, that's all about the syllabus and how to prepare for this exam within a month i mean how to prepare for financial management within a month so should you uh, buy the book by prasanna chandra or you are you need to you know uh, buy any other book from the market my answer is actually no i mean it won't be possible and even the books available in the market they are static in nature they are not dynamic in nature while the paper is dynamic right some portion is static but i mean a major portion is dynamic the rbi wala notification the sebi's notification that's not the part of static books so who can help you it's the team bank exams today who is going to help you what i can recommend you is just uh, just go to the description or just go to bankexamstudy.com you are going to find bank of india credit officer a uh, proper course about it we have provided proper notes we have provided proper classes and proper test series for bank of india credit officer exam so the demo courses the demo lectures and the demo tests are available i recommend all of you to take a demo course the link to take the demo course is available in the description and if in case you want to have a chat with me my number is 9067201300 so that is my personal number and the my email id is raman@bankexamstudy.com and i am also available on whatsapp so i'll try to reply all your 
you know messages on my whatsapp so that's all for today students i hope you like this video and in case you want to receive regular updates about the bank about bank of india credit officer exam in, in case you want to get updates about related exams then please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon and please subscribe the course if you want to so that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day and please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon that's all for today thank you and have a nice day bye